What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. This sucks. It's a game I've talked about for a very long time and honestly one of my favorite games of all time is coming to an end. Well, at least the online functionality of it, which was, let's be honest, a major part of Super Mario Maker. It's being removed from the eShop. They're taking down rankings. You're no longer able to upload courses. And ultimately has proven the point that gaming of the future has some downsides to it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe and bell for notifications so you don't miss any uploads on the latest news. With that out of the way, Yes, it's true. Nintendo of America and Nintendo UK have both put out tweets saying beginning on 331, it will no longer be possible to upload courses in Super Mario Maker for Wii U. Please see the link below for more information. Thank you to all the players for supporting the Wii U version of the Super Mario Maker game since 2015. In this tweet, Nintendo goes out of their way to make it seem like the game's old, it's been replaced by a new one, you don't really need this one anymore, but ultimately it sucks because first off, there's still a lot of people that play this game on the Wii U. A ton of people. Most Wii U owners I know that never upgraded to the Switch, that is their main game that they play. And in a way, Nintendo doing this is kind of forcing them to upgrade if they want to continue playing it. It's kind of sneaky, kind of scummy. Ultimately, it just is a bad thing for the gamer, which is why I wanted to make this video. It speaks to a much larger problem at hand here. It doesn't benefit these companies to support these games online for the long term, especially when they have new games coming out all the time that they want people to migrate to because that means they can resell you a different game or a sequel to the game that's very similar to the previous just to be able to keep making money from you. It's something that's happened many times in the past, but here with Super Mario Maker on the Wii U, just drives that point home much harder than any of these before it. As of March 31st, 2021, it will no longer be possible to upload courses to the Super Mario Maker game for the Wii U system. On the same day, the Super Mario Maker bookmark website will also close. As a result, Super Mario Maker for the Wii U system will be removed from the Nintendo eShop on January 12th, 2021. Now, even though it's being removed, if you've purchased this game on the eShop, it is available for re-download, but you're only going to be able to make and play the courses locally or download courses that already exist. People making new courses for that will not be able to download from somebody else. Now, companies that do that want to make you think that it's due to a dwindling player base where I look at this as yes that's part of it but ultimately it's a marketing decision by doing this it forces the hand of Wii U owners to upgrade to a Nintendo Switch and buy Mario Maker 2 that's a problem because what's next when Mario Maker 3 comes out on the Nintendo Switch Pro exclusive we'll say this is all just theoretical but down the road we'll say five years from now they'll stop supporting Super Mario Maker 2 and you have to play Super Mario Maker 3, you have to upgrade to the whatever the next console is from Nintendo, whatever the next Mario Maker game is from them, if you want to be able to keep playing this game online, even though you're still paying for a service, that's an issue. But in there lies the problem because the developer, in this case pu publisher too, Nintendo, who's making the game is stuck between a rock and a hard place. They can't keep supporting and paying for servers of a game that's a dwindling pay player base when they have an upgraded console and version of the game available. That's not just Nintendo's fault. That is the future of the game industry's fault. And because of that, it forces the hand of gamers to continually buy upgrades to keep being able to play these games. It's not like the old school games where you buy Metroid on the NES and you can play it forever. It has this component of online. It's the same issues that's plagued Halo and Call of Duty with these annual updates, especially with Call of Duty, where the player base for most of them has dwindled to the point where you can't even play them anymore. There are some exceptions. Yes, I know people will come in with, oh, I play the old... 
My point is, as time goes on and more games come out, that means there's less of a pool of players for the older versions of the game because they'll be migrating to the new versions of it, meaning that it renders the old one useless. And yeah, that's kind of a side effect of being able to stay on the forefront of gaming and having new and updated graphics and engines and different styles of play and mechanics added in. But then you get to the point of a game, we'll say, like Madden, where you could just theoretically update the roster every year and people be fine with it, but then you can't slap a $70 price tag on it to be able to resell the same game to people. You need to be able to put another game out and say it's a new game, even if you're updating names of players and numbers on their backs. That's what's happening with the game industry right now. These companies know it. They are taking advantage of a lot of the customers. And while I might be getting a little bit off track here, point being, all of these games are moving forward into the next generation and some will be left to wither and die. That sucks for the people that invest money in these consoles and these games just to have them basically useless five years after buying them. Services that will end regarding Super Mario Maker. The ability to upload courses to the Wii U version of Super Mario Maker. The Super Mario Maker bookmark website. Due to this, the following features within the software's course world will also become unavailable. Updating the ranking of liked courses and looking up your bookmarked courses. Everything is stopping. And the issue I have here is, yeah, I guess the, the servers, you gotta pay for the servers and all that, yeah, the server jazz. But if there's a dwindling player base, that means that there's less people uploading all the time, which means that there's less strain on the servers, there's less need for room on the servers, there's less people utilizing them, so it costs less overall. What I see here is a strictly business decision where Nintendo looked at it and says, we can keep supporting this game forever and spending money on the servers even though it's less and less every year because the costs keep going down, or we can just cut it all together, pay zero for it, and force the hand of people that invested money in this originally to upgrade if they want to keep playing it. That is the issue with the gaming industry at large right now, and it's only going to get worse as time goes on and more people get into online gaming and more upgrades and updates keep coming through as people keep playing these games. It will still be possible to play courses that were uploaded before the course upload feature was discontinued and to re-download the game after its removal from the Nintendo eShop. Like I said, there will be no impact on the Super Mario Maker 2 game for the Nintendo Switch system. Yet. They forgot to put that yet word there, but it's coming. And I guess I'm not like, oh, this is horrible that Nintendo's doing it. It's more of a realization of this is what's transpiring in the game industry. And it's only a matter of time before the current generation of games becomes the previous generation and are rendered useless once again. That is an issue for people who are collectors, people who want to relive old memories of games because if they're formally based around online servers, that won't be available for the vast majority of them in a decade or two from now. And I mean, yeah, you can say, well, two decades from now, you'll be playing better games and different games and all these all these crazy different things on them. You'd be like, yeah, but I still go back and play Nintendo games. You can't do that with this generation of games if they're gonna be focused solely on online. And I guess that's where the double-edged sword comes in with all of this. I love the ability to have the online functionality, but then when they remove it, it removes basically what the game was built around and it's a shell of what it was after the fact. I don't like the direction it's going, but I get why it's happening. I guess that's what I'm getting at with all of this. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I think I've said my piece enough here. Just wanted to inform you guys about this Mario Maker servers being taken down. And I'd love to hear where you stand on this, if you're okay with it, because you understand the direction of the industry and you like being able to have the latest and greatest updates, or if you're more in the camp of you prefer the games not to be focused so much on online play that five years later, they're basically rendered useless. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing.